The core laboratory functions as the uh, rapid throughput laboratory. So for the patient who comes through the hospital, through the emergency room, um, most of their work is going to come through the core laboratory. We are known for receiving the sickest patients and we want to get the correct treatment to them as rapidly as possible. Our goal is to get those samples in and to process them quickly so that they're back so that the clinician can then take care of the patient in an, uh, in an expedited fashion. If you had come to us about 10 years ago, you would have seen fairly limited automation. Pretty much the only thing that was automated was our hematology analyzers. But recently, as you can tell from all this equipment I'm standing near, um, we have fully automated um, the majority of our ke uh, chemistry testing. The prior method was that the um, techs had to actually put the t individual tubes into racks and then walk those racks to the individual analyzers. Then when the testing was complete, they had to go get those tubes, uh, get the racks, take the tubes out of the racks, put caps on them, and put them in the refrigerator. Now what we do is we bring samples up put them in a rack, they go on the uh, input module of that automation system, and at that point the, the system will read the barcode that is on the tube, and that barcode tells it what tests need to be performed. And at that point it will then put it on the automation line, takes it, it centrifuges the sample if it needs to be centrifuged, and then it puts that sample back on the automation line, moves it around, takes it to the appropriate analyzers. The samples are uh, taken out of the tubes at that analyzer, puts the tube back on the line, goes to the next analyzer. So it's really reduced a lot of the foot traffic that has to occur within the core laboratory. Many things that were previously only available in our smaller laboratory areas are now available in this room 24-7. What happens with an automation system is that it helps us to standardize the processes that we're doing. And so that process through standardization actually helps reduce the amount of time it takes to produce laboratory results. Probably one of the biggest issues for me in terms of patient safety is every sample now comes in with a barcode on it and we're not pouring from one container into another container. So in terms of making sure that the lab results belong to exactly that patient, we are so much closer now to perfection than we've ever been in the past. With our emphasis on, on becoming the safest institution to receive care here at UVA, this system helps us with that process because it helps us again with that more rapid throughput of laboratory results, standardized processes, all that's going to have the end result of improved patient care. We rarely get a chance to see the patients over here in the, in the laboratory. What we see are tubes of blood and so it's our way of being able to connect with that and, and to provide back and, and make sure that we are contributing to that patient care process.